Yeah, fireballs like really good against undead. Uh, we're out of mana again. Once we get Balthazar, we'll be able to make mana potions. Oh shit! Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to go do the first Spire, and uh, if all goes well, see if we can get to Balthazar. Uh, so I showed you guys in uh, the opening montage there that I've been out uh, grinding, uh, getting metal, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, dude build us a forge. I already uh, built the... Uh, the charcoal kiln here uh, and have some charcoal going in there and let's grab some metal we got 32 scrap metal minus what I've already spent to you know make the scrap metal tools and uh, also have the full first set of armor as you can see here um let's see he's gonna want wood and I don't know stone I don't remember what else he wanted for that uh, yep, that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the forge. Uh, anything else? And we will put that out here. Oh, I also put, uh, as you can see, a little stone walkway around uh, the hut here just so we can have a place to set our early game um, crafting stations. All right, and then uh, we need to put charcoal and metal strips in here. Let's split this in half and... Yeah, get that going there. And he should, I think he can make us a um, a better shield once we get sheet metal, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see, shields. Oh, no, he can do it right now. Okay, we, oh, yeah, we got to wait. We got to make, bloop. okay, work mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we got to wait for five metal sheets for that. Um, okay, so let's also have him make us a couple 
lock picks because um, he can make them for one metal scrap each whereas if we make them then it's two never force it, never force it. yeah okay um so yeah let's just wait uh whoops wrong thing That takes a while, doesn't it? Shit. Okay. Um, it takes two per. And we need five, so that means we need to make sure that there's at least ten in here, which... Has it already... Yeah, didn't we put eleven in here? So I think it's already consumed the first two to make the first batch. I believe that is the case. Alright, so yeah, I want to wait until that's done so we can get that shield from him. And, um, we could also, let's see, that's a 16 damage level 5. We found this rusty sword, a 14 damage level 3. But we could also put some poison damage on this. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I I almost never use this. The, you know, the melee weapon is just not something I use. So... I think we'll just stick with what we have until we find something better in loot. So I guess what we'll do is whilst we're waiting for for th these sheet metals, um, let's go back over to the blacksmith's building. We'll grab another f uh, spark while we're there. And I, when I was actually over there last time, I forgot to go into the secret room and check the silver chest there, which of course has reset. Um, so I got 16 rested bonus. Oh, yeah, I, I set up a bed, little fireplace, a stool, table, candle, wall torch. Um, and so we have 16 rested bonus uh, currently. I set a an altar over here in preparation for us to, to go up and do the spire. Uh, so let's just fast travel to that altar. And we'll go down and check the silver chest. Uh, I haven't gone any further than that yet, so we'll do that later. Oh, excuse me, but I want to check the silver chest and also grab another spark while we're here. Grab some mushrooms. And we might as well grab the bees too. Well, not the bees, the beehives. Let's kill these guys. So I'm still using the bone wands. It'd be nice to get a a good wand this time. A level one rusty sword. That kind of sucks. It's even worse than the one we have. But you know we are in the noob zone, so it's to be expected. Salvage that. That does 11 damage versus 14. Salvage that. All right, let's run up and grab the flame, and then we'll head back home. And hopefully our steel plates are almost done. Alright, um, we could go down and fight those guys, but I think I'd rather have my better shield first. So let's go back home here. Alright, how we doing? We've got three. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put... Do I have any more scrap metal in here? Yes. Okay, let's cut these in half. Um, and we have an odd number in there. I like the new system that they have. 
And we'll put these in here as well. Just to keep making a few more of those. And we should have plenty of charcoal. Okay, so that gives us four metal sheets. We need uh, just one more for him to make that shield for us. Oh, he can make the spectral ward for us. Um, I think... I think what we'll do is let's go with the wards just because we're doing a magic build. I know the physical shields are better. But I want to kind of be true to our... Uh, oh, actually... You know, to our purpose here, but um, I don't have enough bone meal to make that. So we are going to have to go with the physical shield for now until we can get the grinder. Which I think does come with the alchemist. All right, so we're about 40 seconds or so out there. Okay, there's our final metal sheet. And we'll make the rising fighter shield. We'll equip that and we'll trash this. Okay, so we got a little bit better shield now. Um, does he? We could. We could make the rising fighter set. But, okay, I tell you what, we might, we might do this later. It's going to require one. Four, six, eight, nine. It's going to require nine metal sheets plus fur. So we may, we might make this later until we can get our first, you know, wizard's um, uniform or, or I mean armor, which we might be able to do, you know, at the end of this episode if we are successful in getting Balthazar. All right, let's uh, go ahead and. Make sure we're fully rested. And we're going to head up and we're going to do the spire first. What is this? Clearly elixir well. Um, if we did that now, we would get some more points. Why don't we... Yeah, why don't we do that first? Why don't we do that first? Just so we, we get more points. I have one point here. But we're trying to get to double jump. And we're going to go the runner route to get there. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. I do have one shroud flask and one elixir. There's the well down there. Okay, so we're going to take one of you. And one of you. And for now, we're going to take a honey so we have extra stamina for the glide down. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I don't think we can make it to, to that spot there. Let's take this. And make sure it goes all the way up. Okay, here we go. I do have two wands on my uh, hot bar, just because these bone wands wear out quickly. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Elixir well. I'm gonna take we've got the intelligence we got the health probably we'll take the yeah uh, what does this give us this gives us endurance and stamina recharge 
Yeah, I think we'll do that one because we have potions and bandages for healing. All right, let's do this. Okay, big mini comes through here. Let's do it. get out of the way of that one in time. Oh, okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if we could block those or not, so we want to stay away from those. And he's dead. Let's uh, get rid of this thing. All right, we got skill points. We got mad skills. Um, there are going to be uh, a chest, or is going to be a chest or two down here. I don't remember exactly where they are, so we'll we'll find them. But uh, let's look at our points first. So we got four points. We're going to go to runner, and then. We need two more points to get double jump. Okay, so we're on our way there. Um, now I just got to remember where the chests are. There isn't really any other way to go through here. It's all surrounded. So I think we have to go back through here to find the chest. That goes back back out. And the bugs. Need to be careful with those guys. Grab the bud parks. Get rid of that thingy. Um, this is a two-hander, probably. Pretty sure it is. Yes. Okay, we don't want that. Um, I have considered, though... Uh, wait, what? Yeah. I have considered doing a, a two-handed playthrough at some point, too, just, just to try it. Um, it's supposed to be pretty hard, from what I've heard. back down here okay here's a chest nice flask of the fell we'll take that and um, is that all we get down here for chests in the first one so I'm not really seeing anything else unless there's something behind here Oops. Doesn't really look like there's something down there other than death. Usually there's at least a silver crate in these places. But it could be that that's not the case for the very first one. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to say no. Just that one chest that we found. Um, all right, I'm going to put you and you and you in there. We'll hang on to our shroud course for now. I'm not really planning on doing anything more with this base. Because we will find a better place to base up at. Oh, good. We got heal channel. Okay, so that means that means we we should make 
a staff. Um, and we can do that here. We just need a bone and two resin. All right, cool. The staff will be stay in that slot. Excellent. Okay. Let's sleep. And we'll take off in the morning and go do the spire. All right. He's got something new for us. Uh, he wants us to go do the spire, which is perfect, because that's exactly what we're going to do. And um, I think we're good to go. Looking good. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to go back to our... Uh, Fast travel point there. And we'll have some bad guys to fight. Uh, isn't there a guy? Yeah, I was going to say. This guy over here. Okay, he's dead. There's a guy down there. Guess that's it. And what do we get? Oh, nice. We got a new wand, finally. Okay, what does this have to say? Pause the screen if you want to read that. And let's take a look at our wand. So this is a an ice wand. 14 damage versus 11. Very nice. Okay, we're going to delete that. We still have the other backup bone wand if we need it. In fact, I'm going to actually put that right there. And yeah, nice little upgrade for us. Very cool. Um, okay. Just taking a quick look around here. I think that's all we need to worry about. Let's head to the spire. Alright, we got another level up, and uh, just in time for double jump, which is going to come in handy in this place. Pause the screen if you want to read that. We also have another health potion there. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. I'll hit this button here. Open that door there. Give us a magic item. Eh, okay, forest bow. I mean, that's going to be better than this piece of crap that we got there. So let's um, unequip that. Equip that. And we'll just delete that one. Okay. Okay, we need to go up these stairs here. I know there's a lot of, you know, if I break these jars, I'll get loot, but that's that's going to be an off-camera thing. This, uh, I, my anticipation is that this series is going to progress a lot faster than our first series did because a lot of that basic grinding stuff I'm going to do off-camera or, you know, some of it I'll show you, like, in montages like we've done, but, yeah. Um... Okay, why... What's the reason for going down there? Is there another chest, maybe? Hmm. 
I don't uh, see the reason for coming down here. Oh, that's the reason. Oh, nice. Okay, we got Ice Bolt. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, let's go up to the next level. Okay, we got some jumping to do. I think what we'll do is we'll take a honey and a water for stamina boost. Oh, I guess that, that one's still active. And we have a silver chest. Oh, we got to do a button for this one. Okay. Uh, is that in here? This is where we... Oh, no, that's the way out. Okay. Um... Okay, that's requiring a button. Did, where the hell's the button at? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Guess we're going to have to wand that one. There we go. Very good, we got a, a staff upgrade. Okay, it's a level three, 14 power versus the seven power. And this will just delete. All right, this is working out good. Up to the next level. Uh, did we look out here? Nope, nothing out there. Except for, of course, like I said, jars, but I'll hit that stuff later. If I do it at all. We'll see. Alright. So I think what we need to do here is go around into here. Let them do their thing again. And then we go around here, open this guy up. Right, the lava room. Okay. I think there's definitely a reason to go up there. I just don't remember what that reason is. Let's replenish our honey and our water for stamina. Okay, that button opened something up for us. Ah, two buttons. Okay. There's the other one there. It's a gold chest. Ah, nuts. Okay. Uh, well, still, this is... Probably a better than this. That's a level three. This is a level three. Oh, they're both the same. All right. I don't really care, honestly. So we'll just salvage that. Uh, all right. Where do we go? Back out here. Got a chest here. More ice bolts. Good. And we made it to the top. Okay. Um, now. 
as I recall, I think Balthazar is kind of up this way. Yeah, to the northwest. There's also a couple of elixir wells we could attempt. That's the story of fire. I think what I want to do, though, first is let's go back home and repair and kind of resituate. And then we'll see if we can uh, go after Balthazar. Oh, good. So they did give us the Hunter and the Alchemist quest. Perfect. 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 Okay. And what do you want? Out of salvage items. We've got a salvage weapon or two. First, don't be afraid. Oh, he's just... That's basically telling us how to use runes to enhance our weapons. Um. All right. So let's see how many runes we actually have so far. We've got 142. So we could actually hold on. Let's look and see. So we have five metal sheets there. Yeah, we need to put, we need to keep those going. I think we needed a total of nine if we want to do the rising fighter set. Um, but the thing is, is once we, once we get. Balthazar, I'm gonna go go all mage anyway. So I don't know if it's worth it for us to to do that. I think we'll hold off on that. Okay, I'm just gonna put those in there for the for the time being. Um, we can't upgrade this, but we can upgrade. Uh, oh, no, we can't upgrade either one of these. That's Wait, oh no, wait, sorry. You, you can't be in a in a, um, a storage bin when you're looking at these. Okay. So we could do ice armor for this and we could do spiritual and brutal. I think we should probably do that. I mean, you know, runes are they're kind of precious in the early game, but you know, you start getting into mid game and then you have them come out your ears basically. So let's go enhance equipment. And I want to do the staff first. And then let's also do the wand. Okay. So, ice armor. I think that just adds more armor to us in the form of ice. I believe that's what that is. Okay. Not going to upgrade the bow. The bow is only for triggering traps. Not planning on using it for combat. Excellent. Okay. Let's make sure we have full rested buff. And uh, we also... Let's take a bandage. Just to make sure we're fully healed. And then we're going to head back up to the spire. And go after our uh, wizard. Powerful alchemy. That's the one we want as active. Uh, we could also do this hidden tomb since it's just right down there. Okay, so I'm going to take a honey and let's also take a health buff. Okay, here we go. We'll also stop off down at the the farm area there too because we'll get some some better food. Okay, let's just knock this out really quick. It shouldn't take us too long. Okay, 
We'll go this way. Grab the bug parts. It's been a long time since I've been in here. Okay, we got a secret door with nothing. What the hell, man? We've been robbed. Okay, there's the coffin there. Okay, and let's also just learn the glow blocks. This pick sucks. Okay, that's good enough. Um, we came from that direction, so we'll go back out this way. Kill a few more enemies, get a little more XP. Very good. More ice bolts. Okay, let's go this way. Surprised it didn't pop a spidey out. Alright, I believe we're done here. Let's go back up to the spire. We'll head down to the farm. Let's see, that's gonna be this direction. All right, I wanna replenish my honey for the stamina. And the water for the same purpose. Let's do it. And we're here. All right. We're going to have... So tomatoes, I think, those are for... Dexterity. Okay, those actually aren't going to do us much good as a caster. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to actually pick a bunch of those. Uh, we do the Aurelian flower, however, is good for us for spirit. However, I think we still should prioritize intellect or intelligence for damage, constitution and stamina so we won't really be doing spirit at least not right now okay so i don't want to spend a ton of time here we might come back here at some other point and do a little bit more Let's get the ice bolt going here. Okay. Harvest homestead. And we're out of mana. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to 
when we get close to where Balthazar is, we're going to set down another flame altar so I can go back and repair. Well, hello there, Ram. Let's get some hide off of that ram. And off of this one, too. And this one. Okay, so I'm not going to bother picking corn. That doesn't do us much good either. But we will grab some more hide. Um, there is a secret chest back this way, actually. If I recall correctly. Somewhere in the mud. We're supposed to we're supposed to get a quest for it, but Yeah, there it is right there. In fact it's a golden chest. Looks like we we'll have to dig down just a little bit. Wildwood shortbow. Okay, we'll take that. Keep hitting the wrong button there. Okay, so this is 7 power versus 10. Level 3, level 3. But this is also a faster draw, so let's just um, unequip that. Salvage it. Equip this. Very good. We'll go fight the uh, the guys in the church here. Go ahead and pause the screen if you want to read that. And is there something in this building here? I can't remember. Let's go take a look-see. Yeah, there's a chest. Nice. Ooh, we got fireballs. Nice. Me likey. Ice does pretty good damage against these guys. Uh, but fire also does. Pause the screen if you want to read that. Okay, let's go down into the basement. It's creepy down here, man. Pause the screen if you want to read that. need to press a button or something to open those to kill that guy or those guys masterful mace all right we're going to turn that right on in yeah wait is this a one-handed if it is oh shit these guys are already out let's deal with them first maybe we should uh, switch to fire for these guys well we need to actually oh shit we're out of mana <laughs> now the other thing I need to do is let's take some cooked mushrooms to increase our damage and we're gonna Heal ourselves. It will take a bandage too. Okay, let's go back to fireball for these guys. Yep, 
Yeah, fireballs like really good against undead. Uh, we're out of mana again. Once we get Balthazar, we'll be able to make mana potions. Oh shit! Okay. There's still another bad guy over here. I think what we'll do is we'll do one fireball and then we'll switch to the wand just to conserve mana. Because we haven't, like, I don't think we have any points in that at all to help us with it. I'm not seeing anything significant in here. Is there anything back in there? Guess not. Okay. Why don't we... Um, we can put an, we can put an altar down here, just so we can go home and sleep and repair and all that. Just got to get some stone. Okay, that's taking forever. Forget that. Let's, uh, <laughs> we just got dirt anyway. Uh, so we can just find some stones to pick or harvest directly. Not a whole lot to choose from around here. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go home because we can just use the spire to get back over here. I am going to go back to here and pick this altar up, though, because we don't need it there any longer. And we'll pick this up as well. Backpack's full. Get rid of that uh, while we're at it. Oh, I was going to look at this. Um, no, that's still a two-hander. Okay, well, we'll salvage then. We got some salt. Oh, how about that? I think we want to hang on to everything else. Okay. We'll take that guy out. We'll go home, sleep, repair, drop stuff off. And then head back and continue on from the farm. Okay. Let's head on back down and continue on towards the alchemist. We'll stop off in this house real quick. There's a couple things in here we can loot. go up here we've got beryllion flower which we want and shrooms and there's a chest over here very good healing charges and then there's a garden down here with some more aurelian flowers normally I would pick the tomatoes but since we don't really care about dexterity on this build, we'll just grab the shrooms. Okay. We're going to get attacked by bees. 
Um, yeah, we might as well grab the honey while we're here. Okay. Off towards the alchemist. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a flame altar. And we'll also put down the crafting bench for repairing. Let's take... A mushroom. Oh, we already got the mushroom going on. We'll take one of those. And I think we'll take a water. I'm going to go ahead and use the flask potion too. Don't think... We only have four of those and 17 of those. Yeah. I don't think we need to take flask of the fell. Let's save that. Okay, so we want to use ice on these guys. They are resistance, uh, resist, resistant to fire. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit him from there. And we're out of mana. That's right, he did. Got a save spot there. Out of mana. Switch to our wand for a second. Okay, he did. Got explosives there. Some cloth. All right, is there a guy? Yeah, there's a guy walking around down there. You too, huh? You want a little action too, do you? Here's a note. Read, pause screen to read that if you want to. Let's see, is there something in here? Yeah, we got a chest, normal chest. With some healing potions and some wood. Okay, let's go on inside. Go this way first. See anything up there? Okay, we got a guy way over there. He dead? Got another guy there. Okay, got some water. There's a trap there. This just comes from the other side of the entrance. And we go up this way.
<laughs> Bad guys. Repair and get our wizard. Nice. Um, all right. Is there anything else up here? I don't remember if there is. location okay let's go out this way this does suspiciously go around Ooh, the hole in the ground there uh, but I guess there isn't anything over here Very cool. Um, why don't we, since we're nearby, why don't we go ahead and grab that uh, sword uh, that's in the bandit camp not too far. Oh, there's a silver chest right there. Look at that. Got all about that. Crackling wand. Nice. Okay. So now we have a shot. Uh, no, fire. Fire damage. Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think we're going to retire the melee weapon. And we're going to do ice fire wand. And... Yeah. I, I think that's what we're going to do. I know it's probably a smart idea for me to to carry a melee weapon just in case but uh we're gonna we're gonna just take that chance and yeah maybe i'll regret it later and you guys can tell me you told me so but that's okay all right <laughs> um let's go so just right down here is the bandit camp that has the really nice early game sword in it Oh, wrong thing. Well, here. We might as well grab those healing things. We want Ice Bolt. And we one-shot him. Nice. He, he fell in his own trap. How in the hell did that miss? These guys are level five. Okay, I think that's all the enemies. The Wailing Blade. We'll take it. We were. Uh, I always do that. No, did I grab it? I did. All right, we we will keep this uh, for now. Actually, kind of makes sense to do that <laughs> after I just went through that whole uh, little spiel about getting rid of our melee weapon. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Easily gotten stuff later. I'll do a sort. Okay, and there should also be a normal chest here. Some health potions. And some more scrap metal. Okay, that's it for here. And I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up 
today's episode. It's a good episode. We accomplished our goal of getting Balthazar. So we'll start the... Well, you know what? Damn it, we're right here, aren't we? No, not a ping. Let's go, let's go do Story of Fire real quick. That opens up flame altars for us. Um, I wonder if I could scooch my way up the hill here. Because it's kind of a long way around to go the other way. Well, I mean, I could. I could if I used my pick. Ooh, that's an interesting view. <laughs> what the hell? Can't even see what the hell I'm doing, man. There we go. Okay, we got up there. Get up here. That'll save us. Uh, well, actually, will it? We have to actually get up there. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to run around. That's too much screwing around. Let's uh, take that. Okay. We get some, I think we get like some agility boots or something too from this altar. Okay, can we scooch up this way? Yep, that is the definition of scooch. Pause the screen and read that if you want to. We have some honey. And we have the... Wait, aren't we supposed to get boots here? There we go. The Wanderer's boots. Backpack is full. Oh, let's get rid of the dirt. Let's... Okay, and then we'll grab these. We are currently wearing fur boots, three physical. So these are better just because they have some stamina gin on them. Okay. Uh, these, I'm just going to get rid of. We just don't need them. Okay, so we took care of Story of Fire, which, um, again, opens up flame altars to us. Their locations. And we'll hit Story of Rot later when we get into that particular area. But uh, we are finished, guys, with this episode. So I'm going to uh, head back home. Uh, we don't. I don't think we need that there anymore. Might as well go pick it up so that it's available. Backpack is full again. Uh, let's ditch the. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, the fur. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, Alchemist will help. Indeed. Extinguish the flame. All right, now we can go home. Okay, yeah, so we'll start off the next episode by uh, setting uh, Balthazar down. I'm not planning on doing any off-camera stuff between now and uh, episode three. And we'll get him to... Well, actually, you know what? On second thought, let's set them down right now because if I do need to do some grinding, I don't want to do that on camera. So let's grab our... Oh, we seriously need to get some more storage going too. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. That helped a little bit. Let's grab this. And we'll just stick him in this corner for now. 
Balthazar. Hi, buddy. Hey. hey. What's up, dude? Hello there. About staffs and spells. I see you're connected to the flame, my friend. Oh, glorious light. You must be capable of magic. Why not try? Okay. He tells us uh, how to use wands and, and staves, which we're all familiar with. Then he wants us to go get the carpenter, which we'll do later. And now we can make health potions, fireballs, and ice bolts. Um, so, yeah, you know what? I am going to spend a little bit of off-camera time grinding this stuff. Oh, yeah, shit, we can't do bone meal. Oh, no, we can. We just need to make the grinding stone. Do I have tin flint stone? I have 12. All right. What else do you need for that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, just some stone. Safe travel. Okay, got ourselves a grinding stone. We'll just set that right next to him. And let's go grab... Uh, nope, don't do that. Let's go grab our bones. I don't think... Can't think of why we would need normal bones for anything more at this point. And let's start making some bone meal. Okay, what else are we going to need to grind? Um, we're going to need to make tar, which we can do in the charcoal forge. I'm going to need to go cut down a bunch of, um, what are they called? Uh, the autumn trees to get the resin. And for ice bolts, just a bunch of shroud liquid and a bunch of water. Um... Bug dust, glow dust, shroud core, spiritual cane. That's a level 5, 17 power staff. This is a level 6, 19. Yeah, so there's no point in making that. He might want us to make it, though, for for questing. I don't I don't know. And, of course, we, we want to make the Alchemist Apprentice set. So what I will do off camera is I will grind up all the mats I need so that we can make the full set um, so that we can make... A nice little stack of fireballs and a nice little stack of ice bolts. And um, we have a decent amount of health Save potions there. Uh, but Shroud Survival Flask. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make some wood acid, which we can also make here. So if we just go to the recipes, we can make wood acid and tar. And it's all just wood and dirt. It's just different, you know, stuff. So I'll grind that stuff all out so that when we start the next episode, we'll have our full alchemist set, our first wizard armor, and a bunch of spells to use in our staff. And then we'll head out and, you know, go after probably, I mean, we got to get the hunter and the carpenter and eventually the cook. Bye. Cook will probably be the last person we go after and go from there. All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.